Eric Fisher about the weather, which is just so incredible. Yeah, we're awfully envious right now, Eric. Hmm. That is just a, a beautiful <laughs> scene where you are, although you have earned it. Oh. Oh, Lisa and David, let me just set the scene for you. It's gorgeous outside. Walk over, grab an ice cream sandwich on the walk, arrive here, flowers are blooming. There's a golden retriever photo shoot going on over by the bridge, and then I get a score alert that the Red Sox won. I mean, how much good can you cram into just a little bit of our time? And you know what? We'll add something else on top. Into the lagoon, Romeo and Juliet making an appearance today, their first of the season. The swans of the public garden here getting into the water after some winter time spent at the Franklin Park Zoo. A parade, little procession over toward the water, and they hop back in like they never left. I've been watching them cruise around the lagoon over the last couple of hours. Some humans out there as well. Let's take a look at some of the temperatures today, including Boston, which was just shy of 90. It hit 89 degrees at Logan Airport, which is, of course, well above average, not quite to record territory. That record of 91 set back in 2001. It can certainly get warm in early May. We'll have that for the next few days. Worcester coming up shy of records as well. 84 was the high. The record 87 also set back in that 2001 warm spell. 80s almost across the board this evening. Some 60s right along the water on the south coast, which is still very comfortable. And we've got that warm air pretty much everywhere east of the Rockies. We've got two more days of the really warm stuff before we go back to more seasonable conditions starting this weekend. Also tracking some Storms have been firing across the middle of the country. Those will be heading in our direction tomorrow. While I don't think it'll be a widespread thunderstorm day, there will be some scattered storms to dodge. And especially if you have after school sports tomorrow, we'll have to keep a close eye to the sky for any lightning that develops. Tonight stays very mild, great conditions to fire up the grill. Temps in the 60s and lows in the 50s on the south coast in the Cape, closer proximity to that chilly ocean water. And then tomorrow we start off very warm right off the bat. Sunrise is at 537. The wind is southwesterly tomorrow and it will be more humid outside. And the combination of heat and humidity is going to lead to a different feel, I think a warmer feel, even with more cloud cover, and it will fire up some of those storms during the afternoon and early evening. Main issue with any of those storms will be some damaging wind gusts, some locally heavy rain, and of course, lightning. And again, I think especially for golfers, after school sports, keep a close eye on the skies. If you have the BZ Weather app, by the way, which is free, it'll give you a lightning alert as soon as it's nearby. So here's a look at the timing. You see that one batch of showers and storms tomorrow afternoon. I think on Friday morning we could start off with some clouds, some fog, then burst into the sun, see temperatures get into the 80s on Friday afternoon, and then a chance for a few more showers and storms as we head toward Friday evening. So that's another day with some scattered action in terms of uh, some active weather. We'll dry out, become less humid on Saturday. Great start to the weekend. Sunday, a nearby front could bring some showers back into the area and some cooler conditions to go along with it. So there's the full seven day. Got warm conditions, really across the board here. Our average highs in the low 60s, so all of this is at or warmer than average, but much more seasonable next week. So if the early summer is not really your thing and you're not ready just yet, we're going to step back to what you'd expect for early May. But everything's blooming. Everyone's walking around out here. The pollen counts are high, but it's not too much we can complain about. We have flipped the switch. David and Lisa, back to you. Good profile picture right there yep. for Facebook. I don't know how we take it right now, Eric. <laughs> for it, beautiful lighting. Tonight, the